Hello YouTube, this is Gamer James coming to you after an absence here. I uh, do apologize for that. I had some video card troubles that uh, had to script some money together to be resolved. And uh, then when I got that all fixed up, it looked out, looked like there are some permission issues on my system where some profiles are signing permissions for themselves, which locked me out of a lot of my saved games. So until I got that figured out, my... Uh, System Shock Let's Play is going to have to be put on hold. Now, what you might be wondering what you're looking at here. This is Darkwood. It's a game I purchased as part of the Steam Greenlight program, god, over a year ago now, and uh, just now realized it had been getting updates. So it's a survival horror top down RPG, I guess, would be the best way to put it. And uh, I've literally only played it for five minutes, like Alpha 1 ago, and this is Alpha 6 1. So. Let's give it a shot. Okay, Alpha Zero. Wow. Okay, yeah, so I haven't played this in a long time. So let's go new. Skip prologue. No, sounds good. Alright. But I remember this was a very difficult game, so I'm interested to see uh, where they've taken it. Uh, you're playing an alpha version of a very challenging and unforgiving game. The introduction is not fully implemented, a lot of stuff is unbalanced. Some mechanics may be completely unexplained, and you might die a lot. You may also experience bugs, ranging from minor annoyances to crashes and safe game corruption. If you prefer a smoother learning curve and playing experience, please wait for the final version. Now, I didn't experience any issue, major issues when, uh, well, at least not that I recall, from playing it some time ago. So, uh, I'm hoping that I'm not going to experience any more now. This may take a few minutes. Hopefully this isn't going to be a few minutes of me just rambling randomly. A little bit of a tech side of things. The reason my save games for System Shock are not uh, accessible is apparently a number of the folders in my documents in Windows stopped having permissions. Okay, even when I'm asleep I can't stop seeing their faces. Grim. Creepy looking caveman looking guy. Looking at me with trust. Like I could save them. Save them from the spreading plague. Like I could stop the process which destroys their land, rots their bodies and minds. Eee. Gross. There is no way out of here. I am stuck with them. With their unending calling, pleading cries, and muttered prayers. Ooh, okay. Okay, so this is me, apparently. I can drag stuff around. Okay, that's cool. Now, I remember there being an intro, but I don't know if it's radically changed or what. Can I just... Okay, I got some pills. You never know when you might need some pills. Barricaded window. Alright. Do I have an inventory? I guess not. Open. Alright, let's go to... Oh! Okay, I've got a nice house. Apparently I can search my shoes. I didn't leave anything in my shoes. Camera. Can I shift click? I can. Okay, I got a medical bag. Nothing in it. And a photo. Which... Is that a face there? Two eyes and a screaming mouth? Lobo over here. Eye and a big beard. I don't know. 1206.85. So I don't know if that's an old picture or if this game take place in the 80s. Cages. This time they're empty. Okay, so that means they weren't at some point in the past. Can I run? Oh, okay, there we go. My tools. They haven't been sterilized for years. It won't make a difference for the locals anyway. Wow, oh, somebody's given up hope. Metal door. I would rather not open it. I spent too much time to lock him in there. So I'm hearing somebody throwing themselves against the door. Mm, creepy. What do we got in here? Fungus. I used to store some stuff here, but it jammed a long time ago. I like the field of vision. That's kind of creepy. I've only just woken up. Yeah. Radio Unatra. My voice is among the noise. Can I play with it? Uh, well, I guess it's just a static picture I can drag it on. 
Oh, look at all this stuff. Moonshine, a medical book. Showing radiation burns, maybe? Front door key, some planks, a couple matches, and some rags. I'm assuming from the alcohol and rags, I could probably make some Molotovs. I best not enter this room right now. That looks like a big old tarp. I'm assuming that's far more bloodstained. I know these notes by heart. I don't want to read them now. Well, this guy's definitely lost all hope. Well, apparently, I got power. It's always a plus in the apocalypse. The leftmost button to open. Oh, okay. Open, use key. There we go. Okay, so it's a contact sensitive thing. Oh, is that a hurt dog? I would say that is a hurt dog. Wow, my field of vision is very narrow. Aww. I don't think he's gonna make it. I should end his suffering. Oh, uh, I think I remember this. Yeah, this is how it taught you combat. You literally had to axe your dog. My 125p. What happened to it? Did it get dropped out of the sky? Some plank and a nail. Okay, when I'm running, I can't flip my view like I'm locked. If I go over here, he's still looking straight ahead. But I'm not gonna, okay, but I can kind of change the way he's running. And I'm sure my dog thinks highly of me, sitting there really ripped apart while I'm running around. For space. Whoop. I am one agile doctor guy. Okay, oh, there's an axe. Ugh. How do I open my inventory? I don't know how to do that. Well, I just middle clicked, and apparently that's a big. I don't have any skills. Well, hopefully I have some doctoring skills. How do I open my inventory? Okay, that's how I change my active item. And I'm randomly hitting the keyboard now. H K L M N. B, V, C, X, Z. Okay, so it's none of the backspace, shift, tab? Whoa. Okay, tab is crafting. Okay, so that's how I access that. Pick this up, put it in the slot. I am sorry, my probably loyal friend. You hold right click and kapow. Oh, I gotta hold right click and then left click to chop. Well, at least I didn't one swing. Suffering animals, man. It sucks. Well, now that I'm carrying an axe like an axe murderer, I also sort of my house. Can I lockpick it? No. But apparently, lockpicking is in this game now. Like an alcohol distiller. I'm settled in for the long haul. So what have we learned so far? I'm a doctor. I've lost all hope. I wasn't even really thrown by my dog being seriously injured or dead. I have apparently have somebody trapped in a room. Possibly some kind of mutant? Maybe? Chow! Okay, wow. That was some... Ooh, okay. Here's a bear trap. Must be careful, the woods are full of them. Oh, okay, well, that's good to know. Disarm? Ah, here we are. Okay, dead cow. Ooh, a bone. Well, I could scrape some marrow out of it or something. So, still not quite sure where we are. Are we in Russia? I'm getting kind of a Russian feeling here. Maybe it's just because of my weird widow's peak. There's no escape from these woods. Only the rats can squeeze themselves between the trees. I don't know. I'm squeezing myself. I gotta give this game some points for audio already. Jeez. Alright. What do we got here? Ooh. Long dead guy or a recently dead horrible creature. Immediately transfers. Hold left control or left shift to take the whole stack. Okay. Uh, I got lots of matches and all kinds of stuff. Can I make anything out of this? Uh, can I make something out of a rag and alcohol? Like a Molotov? Rag. Alcohol. Wait, where do my rags go? Oh, there they are. 
thought I had a full inventory. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Okay, apparently I put my rags down. Whatever. Worry about that when I'm not in a prologue. These parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. Oh, okay, thanks. Oh, and then I'll lock the recipe. Okay. One rag, one plank, one alcohol, one match. Okay, sounds good. And I got some empty bottles. Okay, so I'm apparently really big into recycling. Ooh, what do we got here? Is this a house? Or was a house? I don't know what this is on the ground. If somebody, ooh, a lady tied to a tree. If this is roots or somebody, what the ever living hell? In a few days, it will be completely absorbed. So what? The tree is absorbing her. Kind of looks like a star spawn there with the top. We got a. Someone tried to make a half deer, half man, or something weird happened. We got a wardrobe. Lots of rags. Okay, well, let's leave one in there then. To repair a doorway, why would I do that? Okay, I've got to give you my stream of thought here, because I'm actually quite tense right now. That something's going to just leap out and I'm going to die of a heart attack. More dead animal people. Okay, so you can see here on the top left that my uh, torch is slowly winding down in usability. Looks like it's going to last a couple minutes. Just gonna light up here and put my torch away, take my axe back out. Oh. Hey, buddy. Where the hell did you come from? You alright? I think this one is still alive. Yeah, I'd say so. Big metal key. Oh. He's unconscious. The little rat didn't make it into his hole. He's got the key, he must know where the door is. That's logical. Only pests like him know how to get out of these woods. Of course, he won't willingly tell me anything. Oh, I... injecting him with horrible stuff. But this, however... Oh, am I injecting him into his eye? Oh, I wasn't a nice doctor at all. I was a crazy doctor. Oh, okay, so now I'm the the guy who just got needled in the eye. Do I have anything? Okay, I got lockpick, some bandages, and... Oh, okay, so that's what I know how to craft. I know how to make lockpicks. I'm sure I was a very nice, reputable person. Okay, some wire. I'm hurt. I could use these rafts, rags to craft some bandages. Okay, yeah, I am almost dead. All right. Make some bandages. How do I use said bandages? Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, okay, so now I got some heal over time going on there. See the. Uh, this barricade is too strong to dismantle. Uh, trap door. Locked. Lockpick. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, but I can make some. Ah, this game's making me learn. Now oh, I got a lockpick. Unlocked. That was easy. A shovel and a flashlight. Both very, very handy in this kind of situation, I'm assuming. Okay, I can use this as a weapon. Yes, I can. Good. What? Cow! Wow, okay. Now I'm worried I'm going to get... Oh, it's about to break. I need to repair it. I don't think I can. Whoa! Oh! I saw you, jackhole! Flashlight. Flashlight! Okay. Okay. Let's turn off the radio. I'm here to move around, aren't I? Can I attack? I can't attack without a weapon. Oh, great. Let me 
We have no power. Where are you? Where are you? Can I just leave? No, I better not leave the house. I don't know if it's safer in here, buddy. I think you're not really thinking straight. I mean... Did you... Locked. Oh. Who's there? Um... Please let me out. Okay... Um... Oh, okay. I'm hoping that was just ambient noise. Hey, buddy. Uh, how you doing? You doing good? Figure on the bed is wearing a worn coat and weathered hat. His eyes are fixed on the hilt of a scalpel stuck in his forehead. Worn wax drips from the wound on the metal surface. I don't recognize his face, but I know who he is. Really? Can I take the scalpel? Oh, my flashlight just died, I think. Fantastic. Uh, great. What do we got here? Come on, weapon. Gas. Lockpick and a plank with nails. Oh. Okay. He's no longer on the slab there. Uh, let's get the old planky plank. Alright, where'd you go? Where'd you go? It's empty. Yeah, no kidding. This does not concern you? To refill the generator. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. Really? I'm, I'm kind of concerned here. Right mouse to aim. Refill. There we go. The tank is empty. Whoa! Okay. Hello? Anybody home? Okay, so we're missing two people. We're missing the crazed doctor. And we are missing whoever was on that slab. Uh, let's lockpick this sucker. Hey, hello? Help me. Uh, I'm not buying this. I'm ready to clonk a f me right the face! Ow! Oh yeah, that's how we're gonna do it, eh? Come on! Yeah. I'll give you what good- <sighs> Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't just walk into that one. Whoa! Okay, now he's talking. Hee hee hee. And... How do you want to get out now? You think you can manage all by yourself? Hideout 1. Where the hell am I? I'm not even in a... That's an oven? I can sense a weird though well-known to me scent. The smell of the protective gas which provides me some safety during the night. The fumes are distributed all over the house with long pipes. What the heck? How do I know this? When I came here, the oven was pretty much ready to operate and needed to light it up to make it work. It must have been one of the hideouts. Locals don't need to inhale this shit. There's an instruction manual on the bottle. Probably death when staying outside of the vicinity of the projector gas after nightfall is 99 out of 100. Is it advised to uniform spread the gas inside? Small empty pot. I haven't felt any hunger through since the accident a few days ago. Red mushrooms. Okay. Oh! Uh, apparently I can eject myself with something. 
Well, is it nighttime now? Night protection. Wow, okay, well, this really kind of started off on a high note. Jeez. Right, let's close that giant hole in my house. Okay, so I got some windows. Yesterday I barricaded one of the windows if I to for some time. I should do the same with the others. Okay, so here's how I upgrade stuff. Oh, I got some nails. I don't have anything yet. A stool. Handy, I suppose. These are the red mushrooms he wants to eat? Oh my god, it is. Gross. Received item, odd mushrooms. Okay, well, I figure it's daytime. But what do I know? What the hell is this? Is that a bear trap? It's still open. Looks like this night was uneventful. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that right there. Okay, I got a bed. I have one large mushroom. I don't have any power. Or if I do, it's not running at all. Alright, so I got a bedroom area with a side office, a kitchen, probably whatever this place was supposed to be, a working area, and an entry. There's a lot of windows. Okay, no, it's definitely daytime. Definitely daytime. Alright. Well, what do we got out here? Table saw, wood logs to planks. Container that I don't know the code to. Wow, this field of view thing is really stressing me out. Okay, we got some more horrible, tasty mushrooms. I think I remember these mushrooms from the Alpha, I'd step on them and they'd like kill me, so. Yeah. Okay, that's my generator. The generator is almost out of gasoline. Ooh, that was enough to last another night. I bet I could find a gasoline can in the underground entrance. What underground entrance? Matchstick, torch, rag. So, could I maybe get some more information about the corpse? Maybe whether it's human looking? No? Alright, fine. Alright. Is there a map? Oh, there is! Underground entrance. Okay, so I know where that is, apparently. Okay. Oh, it's a... It's a dog or a wolf? It's gonna step into a bear trap for me? Yeah, smart dog. No problem, dog. I'm not here to hurt nobody. With logs. And some nails. Handy. Alright, well, I guess I'll go get some more gas. Poisonous. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I guess they've made them two different kinds of mushrooms now. Uh, I don't want to be burning daylight. It don't seem like I have a stamina gauge. Oh, yes, I do. It's that yellow one beneath my health gauge. If I remember correctly, animals are a bunch of jerks. So, I don't have a weapon. It's just... Okay, we got a number of dogs. Okay, so man, the underground entrance is a ways away. I ain't gonna hurt nobody. Four evil dogs. Don't mind me. I'm passing through. Yeah, yeah, screw you too. Alright, well, before we get any further... Jeez Louise. A farm? Oh, it's a cornrow maze. Yeah, I can barely see through it. I'm gonna stay away from that. Anyway, I think this has been an excellent introduction to what promises to be an extremely terrifying game. Can I save my game? Does it save automatically? Well, let's find out together, shall we? Anyway, again, thank you for watching. My apologies again to my tens of viewers for their uh, patience on my long absence, but this has been Darkwood. If you like it, please like and comment below, and as always, if you have any suggestions or any ideas for things you'd like to see me play, I'm, I got a lot of games, you know, throw it out there, I've probably heard of it or played it or have it, so by all means let me know. Again, thank you, and have a good night.